So I thought I'd pop together this little quick tutorial because um, with the Booster Sales Skills course, what I thought I would do is put together all of the documentation today. And here we've got things like the rate cards, product guides, some business cards, marketing flyers, approval um, guides for when you go out to your customer. But you might want to come up with an idea for a logo and I saw this on the internet I thought it was quite a neat little logo and I thought it gave me a little bit of inspiration for just putting a logo into this these um, templates that we're giving you in this boost your sales skills course so I just thought I'd show you quickly how to put something like this together okay so this is where I am this is where I got to um, and this was my original concept. I mean, this could be a drawing, something like on a napkin or a piece of paper that you've done out with your friends and you think, right, okay, that's what I want to draw. So what I would do in a situation like this is import this into your um, Coral Draw document. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock this object down, okay? So that basically means I can't move it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is come across to our Bezier tool on the left-hand side. Click on that. If it's not actually showing there at the time, all you need to do is just click on the little fly out. It'll pop out and drop down to Bezier. Now what I would do in a situation like this is follow the contour around the outside. Now luckily this particular component here inside this is actually called a banner and they are one of the preset sort of drawn items that you can use um, from one of these menus over here from the shapes tools. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a box around this area to start with. So if I draw across the bottom, so I'm going to click point to point. If I hold the shift key down when I do that, it's going to give me a perfectly straight line going up. It's not going to be at an angle if it's slightly off skew. So I'm going to go to here, to this point, and across to here, and I'm going to come back to here. So that's going to give me that. Um, I could have actually followed the line all the way around and drawn it in one piece. I thought I'd give you another way of doing it because I want to show you about the weld tool. So I'm going to come across here, just on the inside, up there, across this point, and back down. So that's forming the sleeve. Now if you want to make any adjustments, you can come across to your shape tool at the top, and you can click on the uh, node, on the, at the point, and you can move it into the correct position. Now I'm quite happy with that actually overlapping and at the minute you see it's actually snapping to a point and that's because on here I'll have snap to objects on. Um, if you don't want any of that you can turn it off and it just gives you complete freedom of wherever you want to move. You see it's not snapping to anything so I can have it exactly where I want it. Now I want another sleeve on the other side so I could draw that or I could press Control D so I go back to the pick tool, tool first, which is at the top, the select tool, and go control D, and that'll give me another sleeve, and I want to flip that, so I'm going to go mirror horizontally, and I'm going to drag that across, and I'm going to put that on the other side there. Okay, so you can see that this um, is not strictly uniform at the moment. Um, so what I'm going to do is just have a click there and see where that's going. So that is pretty much in the right spot. So what we'll do to make this, we'll just pull this one across over here. Um, and I'll just overlap that, so I've just got a little bit. Okay, that'll do. Now also then I wanna cut out the neck on that point. Um, so let's just give it a, get an eclipse tool and drop something in like there. And that's where roughly where that will be. Okay, so first of all we need to make this these two sleeves and the body of the t-shirt one component um, if you want to come out at a bit of a different angle there we can double click and add another node point so on here double click and then I can pull that out as well so that's going to give me the shape of the t-shirt okay so I'm going to click on this component which is the sleeve I'm going to press shift key down click on the middle and then keep with the shift key pressed down click on the sleeve. So I've got all three components selected now. Now up here on the toolbar is weld. I'm going to weld them together. Now that's going to give me 
one continuous outline. I could have drawn all the way around the outside, but I wanted to show you the weld tool. Now, to make sure that this sits central, I'm going to click on the t-shirt body, hold the shift key down and click on the circle, and I'm going to press C to make sure that's aligned fully through the center. At the top here, we've got the trim tool, and if I click onto the circle, hold the shift key down and then click onto the body and press the trim tool, that's going to punch that out. So now I can delete that and get rid of it. So already I've now got my t-shirt. Now you might see there, there's a little bit of um, where we welded it, you've got not the full alignment. So what we can do, we can zoom in and I can double click on one of these nodes and that removes it over this side. So, okay, so I'm quite happy with that to start with. Um, now what I'd like to do is make this edge thicker. There's two ways of doing it. One, I can click on that and I can go up to the top and I can make the line nice and heavy. Now, you can see there's still a little bit of an issue with, uh, with the point, so I'll just take those out. Um, the problem with doing the thick heavy line that way is if you scale this now if I was to click and drag it and put it all the way down you see that the proportion of the thick line still stays at 8 point which makes it look wrong um, and not the design that you actually wanted but what I would do in this particular case is either run a contour around the edge or in this case you can go to objects and say convert outline to objects and what that does now rather than that being one thick heavy stroke line all the way around the outside if I actually got rid of it got rid of the fill by clicking on the right hand side over here um, and then clicking underneath on the black line or with the right mouse button that will show the stroke and you can see there we've actually got two components so if I go back and click on the left mouse button on the black you can see that it fills that all the way around um, okay, so a couple of things I wanted to add in here. I wanted to put SEW, um, uh, Southeast Workwear, so SEW in capitals, and I was going to put that somewhere in the middle. I want the banner going across, so I'm going to go on the shape tool and up the top here we've got uh, different shapes and uh, different components that you can have. Um, if I go to common shapes and go to the drop down, you can see here that we've got banner shapes. So I click on the banner shapes and I'm going to pull that out. So that there, I could drop that over the top of that t shirt. And on my design, I actually reduced the overlap so there. So if I was going to do that, I go back to my pick tool and I click on probably the red bit I've got the, the shape tool and pull that out I can change the depth of the the actual banner so I can have a little play around with that if I want to go back and resize it I grab one of the corners and I can press the shift key if I want and that will rescale that centrally through the middle again I can come up here and add an 8 point stroke um, and you can see that now that's overlapping over the t-shirt so if I fill the the banner now by pressing the, the left mouse button on the color palette that gives me that um, okay so we're getting there um, let's add some text going underneath and um, so we want printing and I think I might want to put t-shirt printing company so what we'll do is put some text in here so I'm going to click and drag down and before I let go I'm going to press the right mouse button once and that's going to duplicate and I'm going to go again and press right mouse button duplicate so and I'm going to put in here caps on t hyphen shirt and here I'm going to put printing Company. And I want all of this font, all of these fonts to be in compact. So I'm going to drag a box around that, click on that one by pressing the shift key down, and I'm going to select compact. 
So here I can now increase the size, the scale of this SCW, and if I want to add a bit of space in, I can come back on the left hand side, click on the uh, shape tool and just pull that out. Same with this one here, click on the shape tool, pull that out. Rescale, resize, drop that in the middle. We can align all this in a moment. And then I want to add this on an eclipse in the middle here, so just to follow the path. So I'm going to click in the, the center point, click the shift and control key down, and as I drag out, it's going to make a circle. Go back to my select tool. Size the text to roughly the size that I want. And then I'm going to click on the circle once, hold the shift key down, click on the printing company. So I've got both items selected. Go to text and fit text to path. Now what you can do at this point is click and drag all the way around. And when it gets to center point, you can see that a red line appears and let go. Now I want to invert, flip, mirror the text horizontally and and then I want to mirror it vertically. So it's now on the inside. Now I'm going to click and I'm going to pull that out any way you want. I'll put it underneath the line. It could be on the line, through the line, above the line. And then I'm going to go back to the shape tool and I'm going to stretch out the spacing of that text from the center of this logo. So I'll put it something like that would do. Now to get rid of that circle, if you, you could break it apart by pressing control K but you might want to come back in a moment and edit this, so I'd leave it. What I would do is just come across so you don't see it, to the colour palette on the right hand side and pr press the right mouse button to get rid of that. So we're pretty much there. And as you can see, you can move it around, centralise different components, and you've pretty much got your, your logo.